Hello, my name is Demetris and I will be your host in this next example video. In the first video we watched a quick presentation of the drawing registry and distribution list spreadsheet. I will now take you through a quick example from the beginning to get ourselves acquainted with how this works. I will use the empty template spreadsheet to create a copy and rename it to the design trade we wish to create our drawing registry. In this example, we will be dealing with structural design drawings, as I am a structural engineer myself. It's always a good practice to leave the empty template as is, so that we can create as many different design trade spreadsheets as we need. So, let's rename our new spreadsheet to the design trade we want. In this case, I will give it a name, Structural Design. These first steps are quite easy and self-explanatory, so I will go through them quickly. Enter the project name at the top, the design trade right below it and again the design trade at the first section empty cell. Now, let's assume that our structural engineer has issued drawings for review to the architect and the QS. The architect to check against the architectural design, and the QS for making sure that the design runs smoothly within the preset budget estimate. We will first populate the drawings list with the drawings that were initially issued. Now that we have entered all the drawings that were submitted, we should add the relative information to the version section. First, we have to enter the date that these drawings were issued. Let's assume the date to be the 2nd of March, 2023. The date needs to be entered in the correct format. The empty cells in this section will not allow for anything else other than a date entry. For this submission date, we now have to assign a status to these drawings. In our case, all drawings were submitted for review. Therefore, from the drop-down I will select the letter, R. Or we can simply type the letter R. Once more, in order for this spreadsheet to work, the program will not allow us to enter any other letter than the pre-assigned choices. Notice, that the section which displays the latest issued for construction version is still empty. The reason is simply because we do not have a final version yet. Now let's start populating our distribution list as well. As we mentioned, these drawings are to be sent to the architect and the QS. We do so by adding the actual dates that we have sent the drawings to these team members. The red cells are calling for our attention simply because these people do not have a final version yet. That is how things are in our case. Now, after a few days, reviews were sent back and the structural engineer will now submit final versions of the structural designs. We shall add the new submission date, let's say a week later, the 9th of March 2023, and make all this drawings final for construction. Notice, the latest version issued for construction section has populated the cells with latest final versions. This is because we entered the letter C, which stands for construction, for our drawings. We now need to update the distribution list and send the drawings to all team members needed. We will update the date for the two members we had already circulated drawings and add a few more. Let's add the mechanical engineer, the electrical engineer and the interior designer. Oh, and don't forget to send the drawings to our client as well. All the red notice cells have turned off since all of our team members now have the latest for construction drawings. A few days later, the client decided that he would like to build a second floor on his house. Our structural engineer prepared revised and new drawings for this change that need to be reviewed and approved again before issuing for construction. Let's go through this together. On the 20th of the same month, some drawings were revised, since not all of them had to, and some new ones were introduced. Drawings S2 and S3 were revised, and drawings S7 to S9 were now introduced. Having a look at the distribution list, we can clearly see that these revised and new drawings need to be circulated amongst the team. Let's have them sent to the architect and the client. Oh. 
after we change the dates for these two team members, their cells are still red. It simply means that they do not have a final version in their hands. A few days later the engineer issued a final revised drawings for these changes, and were sent to all team members. Notice that the drawing S7 was cancelled since it was not needed. But this drawing was still in our team members' hands and the distribution list calls to our attention. We simply need to inform them to cancel that drawing. After they were informed, we needed to delete the dates in the distribution list for the red notice to go away. A few weeks later, the client assigned a project to a contractor to begin construction, and immediately we had to add another team member to our distribution list and send the drawings package to him as well. The structural engineer decided to issue a new complete final package for clarity. Have a look at the distribution list now. The structural engineer has only sent this final for construction complete package to the contractor alone, and all the other team members hold in their hands, the correct drawings but with different dates on them. It is obvious, that we need to distribute this new complete package to all. Now we know, that all of the team members hold in their hands the correct, final version and that no misunderstandings will take place. Let's go through how to add more columns to our distribution list. To do this, we need to select both columns of a team member. The date cell and the notice cell together. Right click and select copy. And then right click again and select insert copied cells. We now have an extra set of columns in our distribution list. We can repeat this as many times as we want to add as many team members as needed. To add more columns in the revision section, the process is the same. Select the last empty column in our distribution list. Right click and select copy. And then right click again and select insert copied cells. You can see that a new extra column has been added. To add more rows in our drawings list. Just click in an empty cell in that section. Right click and select insert. From the menu that appears, select entire row. This concludes our demonstration of how to benefit from this useful project management tool, keeping track of all drawings, for all design trades, and projects. Whilst at the same time having a revision history log, and a distribution checklist to make sure everything is kept as it should. This template has been used and tested in real-life projects, both small and large. And has proven to be a highly efficient method for managing any drawing registry and distribution lists. Thank you for watching.